Greetings everyone, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be reviewing WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. Now, most computers don't have DVD drives anymore, or some of them use external DVD drives. Now, what this software does is that it allows you to extract the contents of a disk, either be a DVD or an ISO. So for intents and purposes of the video, this is just going to be a merely an educational video rather than a actual tutorial on how to break down that because that usually is something that I would advise against because if you're learning how to crack a DVD or something else here, then this video is not for you. This video is meant for educational purposes and is meant to just review the software and the functionality of the software. So your menu shown here is what you see on startup. It has the disk option for DVD, a disk image for ISO, add a folder, clear the contents, and your options. And then if you want to check for software updates, you just press here and check for software updates, which allows you to do that. And it says you're using the latest version. So the newest thing was added the iPhone 13 profiles. Just go OK. So let's say you want to get one of your files out of a disk. So basically, if you have something saved on a DVD, you would just get the disk into your disk drive and then it'll just give you the steps. So the first step is to click the DVD button to load the DVD. Now my computer doesn't have a DVD drive so I don't even have an external drive either so this might not be helpful to a lot of people that don't have one but if you do have one please keep continuing to watch. So when you do is you press the DVD and then you select the source DVD disk and then it'll usually have auto detect checked and then force UDF or force ISO. It'll then list your drive letter if you have a drive mounted, which I don't. So then you would just click OK and then it would detect the files that you want. And then you would choose one output format. So basically what you would have here, the folder button, it would just give you all of your pictures and stuff here. So let's say you wanted to select an ISO. So then what you would do is you would browse for a DVD ISO image of a game or whatever you have, and then it usually goes through the process of auto detect, force UDF, and force ISO, and then you would just click OK, and then it would bring up the contents. And so the destination folder, once you have started the conversion, it usually goes into its own folder when X videos. So once you're done with that, then it'll run into the folder. So that is definitely something that you can do. And then you can also add a folder to select the folder for the DVD path. So like I said, if you have an external DVD drive, just put your DVD in, then you can access the folder path through there. And then there's also the disk file type system types. And then just make sure auto detect and force ISO is checked. If you want to do that, then we go from there. And then for the options here, this is a preview window where it plays back the files. So for copyright purposes, we're not going to play back any files. So it has the play button here, the pause button here, and then I believe this is a screenshot button here. And then it gives you the option for hardware accelerator where it has Intel and NVIDIA. I have an NVIDIA chipset installed in this computer, so that's checked. And then I also have an Intel chipset, which is checked here. So if you want to look at the information, you just click on the arrow here, and then it tells you all about or click on the I, and it tells you all about it. So then you would just select use high quality engine, you would de interlace or safe mode. If you're not sure about these, then don't use it. And then you would just press run. And then it goes through the process, depending on how long it takes. It takes like a few minutes or something like that. Then it allows you to go through. And then there's your profile here, and there's the license. I have a license to this software. It just shows the version and the build quality. And then this is an OEM license I have. And then there's a letter. Then there is an option where you can send an email to the support if you have any questions and then there's a questions button here and you can switch the language to French, English, Spanish and then that's it. And then you would also clear the queue to clear the queue here and then you would actually go from there. So you can also download a copy of this using the link in the description below so that you can get a free license code for it. If you have a DVD drive and you want to rip stuff, then this definitely is a great software to use if you have an external DVD drive, if you still do that sort of thing. 
This will give you a lot of features when it comes to your external DVD drive, whether it be ripping stuff from a favorite movie or a favorite game or a folder and just getting it to a high quality format using your hardware acceleration and that's so, that sort of thing. So I definitely feel that this will benefit you if you still do that sort of thing. So thanks very much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time for another video. And don't forget to download in the description below for your free licensed copy of this software. Thank you.